Are you getting ready to take the Praxis Mathematics exam? That is test code 5165. If that is a test that you need to pass, then good news. My name is Bob, and I'm a test prep expert with study.com, and I'm going to help you and walk you through everything that you need to know in this video. We are going to cover everything that is on the test, how best to prepare, and my top five strategy tips so that you are ready for test day. All right, let's jump in. Praxis 5165 covers a variety of secondary math topics, aka high school math. You'll be tested on your own math skills as well as your ability to teach math. The test topics include numbers and quantity, algebra, functions, calculus, geometry, statistics, and probability. About 75% of the questions will be straight math questions. 25% of questions across all the topics will be about teaching math, what Praxis calls task of teaching mathematics. So how long is the test and how is it scored? Praxis 5165 is 180 minutes long and includes about 66 questions. This gives you a bit over two and a half minutes per question. So strategy tip number one, aim for two minutes, 30 seconds per question so you have cushion for harder questions. Skip questions if they are taking a long time. You can always come back to them later if you have time at the end, but you don't want to eat up all your time on a hard question early on. You'll see a couple different question types on Praxis 5165. You're probably familiar with multiple choice, which Praxis calls selected response. The exam has multiple choice questions where only one response is correct and where multiple responses are correct. You'll also see some questions where there are no answer choices. You'll enter your answer into a numeric entry box on screen. You'll have access to an on-screen graphing calculator during the test. You have to use the calculator provided and can't bring your own. Strategy tip number two, practicing with the calculator is just as important as reviewing material and doing practice questions. You can practice using the calculator on the ETS website or check our channel for a video tutorial on the calculator. A few tips for using the calculator. Remember to read the question carefully. The answer on the calculator may not be the final answer to the question. Make sure you're in the correct mode. Don't give degrees when you need radians. Don't round intermediate calculations. Rounding too early could lead you to the wrong answer. Make sure to also practice graphing. You'll need to use the graphing function on this test. Strategy tip number three, don't spend time memorizing formulas. Yes, you need to know how to use the formulas, but you'll be provided with common notations and formulas during the test, so you don't need to use your prep time to memorize them. Some of the formulas you'll receive are surface area, volume, law of sines and cosines, differentiation. So we have covered the basics. Now let's dive into some test specifics and what to expect from the individual questions themselves. On Praxis 5165, there are four main content categories that you need to be comfortable with. The categories are number and quantity. This is 30% of the exam or 20 questions. This category is divided into about seven regular number and quantity questions and 13 algebra questions. Functions and calculus. This is also 30% of the exam. The category is divided into 13 functions and seven calculus questions. Geometry and statistics and probability are both 20% of the exam or 13 questions each. But what exactly is covered on the test? Let's dig into each content category a little bit more. Also, check out our channel for videos that go into a lot more detail for each category. These walk through lots of sample problems so you can get a good understanding of the types of questions on the exam. Numbers and quantity covers numbers as well as algebra. Topics include basic operations like addition and subtraction, radicals, national exponents, algebraic expressions, polynomials, discriminant analysis, rate of change, and more. As you can see, this section varies widely from basic math to more advanced secondary math. Here's an example of one of the easier problems you might see. Sally is currently twice as old as her sister. In 10 years, Sally's sister will be 13. How old is Sally right now? A8, B16, 3C, D6. The functions and calculus section includes topics like function, notation, and behavior, modeling relationships between quantities, combining standard function types, exponential equations, trig and the unit circle, differentiation, and integration. 
The geometry category includes topics like transformations on the plane, similarity theorems, geometric proofs, theorems about circles, triangle trigonometry, and coordinate geometry. Finally, in statistics and probability, you'll see questions on using data from sample surveys, interpreting data, computing probabilities, and normal distributions. Across all of the categories, about 25% of the questions will be about applications in teaching. These questions will test your understanding of good math explanations, identifying common student misconceptions, and using technology in the classroom. Here's an example task of teaching question. This question is pretty typical, and you can see that they are quite long. Check our channel for a separate video that explains these in detail how to solve these. But for now, here's strategy tip number four. For all problems, but especially task of teaching problems, read the problem and answer choices really carefully. Especially for wordy problems like this, it can be easy to make a careless mistake. The Praxis 5165 covers a lot of math. Although you've probably learned all the material, you may have forgotten a lot of the details, especially from math concepts you haven't used in a few years. So what's the best way to prepare? A great way to figure out how to focus your study time is by starting with a full-length practice test. Study.com's test prep courses offer multiple so that you can identify where you need to spend the most study time. Don't worry about your score the first time around. You are just trying to figure out where you need to focus. Study.com will generate a study plan with top priorities for you. If you use other test prep materials, you may need to analyze your practice results manually. Watch lessons to review the topics in your study plan and do practice problems or make flashcards to transfer the material to your long-term memory. And that brings me to strategy tip number five. Practice, practice, practice. There is no substitute for working through sample questions that mirror those that you will face on test day. Every practice question that you do is going to help you be a little bit more prepared for test day. Every practice question that you do might be a question that you see on the actual test or the same type of question. So the more comfortable you are there, the better that test is going to go. When you see that question on the test, you'll think, oh yeah, I just did something like this. That is going to help you a ton. You can prep in a number of different ways. I'm going to recommend study.com's Praxis 5165 Mathematics Test Prep Course. It covers everything that I just went through, but in a ton more detail, including short form videos that explain all the concepts you are going to encounter on the test, along with a huge bank of high quality practice questions complete with answer explanations so you can learn from your mistakes. All the content has been written and vetted by former teachers and users who complete the course have a 92% pass rate on the tests. So yeah, a great resource for you. Also, please check out more videos in these series. I'm going to be posting some Praxis 5165 questions walkthrough here shortly so that we can tackle some specific questions together. And then I'm also going to be covering a bunch more practice tests here shortly. So if you found this video helpful, please like, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get alerted when new teacher test prep content drops. And also, I wanna hear from you. Let me know down below in the comments if there are specific tests or questions that you are struggling with that we should cover here. And don't forget to circle back once you have passed your Praxis 5165 test so that we can all celebrate with you. Take care.